Coach, what have you seen this week that you feel like maybe you've been able to improve upon from last week? Well, we've got a lot of mistakes uh, that we uh, made that we were able to come out and just talk about number one and then work on them. And, uh, you know, it's been hot. But it's been a good week of practice. You know, I think our guys have bounced back. We uh, disappointed in a lot of things that we did wrong, but we had a lot of things right last week. So, uh, you know, we, we wanted to make sure that this week that uh, – that we worked on every little thing that we made a mistake on and really really talked about it in the classroom, watching film, and then come out and worked on it. So uh, not a lot of fancy things we'll do this weekend. We just got to try to get better. You had training camp. You've had some hot weather here. You've played two Big Ten opponents in successive weeks. Do you? Is there any plan to, you know, where you kind of decide, do we need to pull back a little bit, get their legs a little fresher? I mean, how do you address that issue at all? If at well, all? you know, if we had a seven or eight game stretch, we wouldn't be going as long or as hard right now. But we still got a lot of fundamentals we've got to work on. And we got an open date in, what, 10 days. And so we're going to push them hard. We've got two games in 10 days. After that, we'll, we'll uh, put shoulder pads on and come out and do a lot of teaching, not as much running, get your legs back, and then start working for South Florida. The game last week, do you feel like the team was just mentally not there? I mean, you weren't outclassed athlete-wise, were you? I mean, it was just maybe guys weren't. We, we beat ourselves. We didn't, you know, we knew it, and we've talked about it. Third down is a big down in college football, offense and defense. And we got beat on third down on offense, especially the first half, and we got beat on third down on defense. And uh, we couldn't keep their quarterback contained. He made a lot of scrambles and made a lot of throws. You got to give them credit. They uh, they executed much better than we did on third down. So uh, if we don't, if we keep playing like that on third down, we won't be the last game we lose. So we've we've got to understand. We've got to get our offense back on the field, and we've got to get our defense off the field. I asked you earlier in practice, you know, there was a lot of uh, internet or message board talk about uh, Kay having a, a back issue, and you explained that really wasn't much of an issue. Well, I mean. It, the back issue, lower back and shoulders, is from throwing the ball a lot. But you know, it's also sleeping in a different bed. You know, for two weeks out at higher ground. And some some older people like Kay and myself have, have a tough time with that. And uh, uh, the beds were a little softer than what we were used to, and uh, that was a little bit of his problem. But uh, he's ready to go. He's he's 100%. Um, pass rush, getting that revved up. It seems like it hasn't really quite been there yet. Um, just talk about what you do to. to get those guys on the edge at the quarterback. You know, quarterback. That's, that's one of our, our strengths with the speed that we've got at the end. And uh, obviously, if you look at the film from last week, Illinois, they threw most of everything out of the pocket. You know, they threw it on the run. And we had it. We hit the quarterback a lot of times in the pocket. We just couldn't. When he got outside, he, he was very good on his feet. And so it limits you to two, two pass rushers instead of four. So uh, we'll see some the same uh, identical types of things from uh, – some teams that we'll play down in the future in terms of trying to get out of the pocket and get away from our pass rush. But I don't think that'll be a problem. The pass rush is just containing the pass. Uh, the pass. Northwestern State, play up-tempo, but probably going to be nice for you guys not to see the number of formations and, and plays that you saw from Purdue and Illinois, which seemed like they were as multiple as it gets. Oh, yeah. They run, every, they run the best 100 formations in football. So what we'll do this week is, of course, I've – I've coached this offense before, and you don't run a lot of formations. You run a little bit of motion, and but so what you what you do is you you run a few things. You try to do them the best you can, but you go fast. And so well, I, they'll try to snap the ball every 15, 18 seconds. And so we're going to have to be in good shape to go through it. Thanks, coach. Appreciate right, it. Guys. See you later.